President Donald Trump has been diagnosed with the coronavirus. This is Friday, October 2nd, 2020. President Trump revealed early Friday morning that he and his wife, First Lady Melania Trump, has tested positive for the coronavirus. Now this has thrown the United States and the nation into uncertainty and escalating the crisis posed by a pandemic that has already killed more than 207,000 Americans and has devastated the economy. Now we all know Donald Trump. You see him all over the media every day with the same line, fake news, fake news, fake news. The experts have been warning him and telling him that you need to wear a mask and social distance. And he downplays it all the time. He walks around. I see him all the time. I think I only saw him with a mask one time. But the other time he walks around. Whenever you tell him about the coronavirus, he says, Oh, it's going to go away like the flu. You know, you know, it's not a serious disease. The heat will kill it. Bleach will kill it. Um, you know, inject disinfectants and it will kill it. And he just basically just plays it off like it's nothing serious and that a lot of lives have not been lost. The virus. He knew all the way back in February how serious this crisis was. It looks like by April, you know, when it gets a little warmer, it miraculously goes away. He knew it was a deadly disease. What did he do? He's on tape, he's acknowledging he knew. He said he didn't tell us or give people a warning of it because he didn't want to panic the American people. Oh, I can't breathe! I can't breathe! You don't panic. He panicked. By the way, maybe you could inject some bleach in your arm. That would take care of it. This is a sarcastic. That was you. Try it. If you'd like. It can clean out the lungs. The lungs are a point of attack. And I say it. What do you have to lose? I'll say it again. What do you have to lose? Take it. The president has indeed tested positive for COVID-19. And yesterday, I woke up to the news that him and his first wife have the coronavirus. Now, we know that he just did a debate a few days ago with Joe Biden, who is running to be president of the United States. And in that room, they were placed apart, but nobody wore a mask. You know, he, he basically um, made fun of Joe Biden saying that whenever he sees Joe Biden, he has on the biggest mask ever that covers his face. And he was basically making jokes. I don't wear masks like him. Every time you see him, he's got a mask. He could be speaking 200 feet away from it. He shows up with the biggest mask I've ever seen. The CDC is advising the use of non-medical cloth face covering as an additional voluntary public health measure. So it's voluntary, you don't have to do it. They suggest it for a period of time, but uh, this is voluntary. I don't think I'm gonna be doing it. A lot of people don't wanna wear masks. There are a lot of people think the masks are not good. And there are a lot of people that, as an example, who you have- Who are those people? Well, I'll tell you who those people are. Waiters. I just don't wanna be doing, I don't know, somehow sitting in the Oval Office behind that beautiful Resolute desk. The great Resolute desk. I think uh, wearing a face mask as I greet presidents, prime ministers, dictators, kings, queens, I don't know, somehow. I don't see it for myself. I just, I just don't. Uh... And I don't agree with the statement that if everybody wear a mask, everything disappears. Everybody was saying, don't wear a mask. All of a sudden, everybody's got to wear a mask. And as you know, masks cause problems too. And then he comes up with a mask. He's like a hundred yards from the nearest human being. He's got a, he feels good about the mask. I wonder in the debate, it'll be him and I on the stage. Is he going to walk in with a mask? But did you ever see a man that likes a mask as much as him? But if I were a psychiatrist, right? No, I'd say, I'd say this guy's got some big issues. I wore one in this back area, but I didn't want to give. And look at it now. He has been diagnosed with the coronavirus. 
Now this is a shock to everyone because now it's like the government is trying to figure out um, should they put pens in place? Does pens have the coronavirus? Who else in the um, cabinet has coronavirus? Because when he was prepping for his debate, his children and all his family were in the room and no one had masks on. So now it's looking to see who he was in contact with, who may possibly have the coronavirus and who needs to go into quarantine. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! I'm telling you, get it through. President Trump revealed early Friday morning that he and his wife, Melania Trump, had tested positive for the coronavirus. Mr. Trump, who for months has played down the seriousness of the virus, an hours earlier on Thursday night told an audience that the end of the pandemic is in sight, and I quote. The dramatic disclosure came in a Twitter message just before 1 a.m. on Thursday night. Trump's advisor, Hope Hicks, had also tested positive for the coronavirus. In her tweet, about 30 minutes after the president made his tweet, Mrs. Trump wrote that the first couple were feeling good, but the White House did not say whether they were experiencing symptoms. The president's physician said he could carry out his duties without disruption from the executive mansion. Mr. Trump's positive test result posed immediate challenges for the future of his campaign against former Vice President Joe Biden. Trump, who is 74 years old, remains asymptomatic. He will lose much of his remaining time on the campaign trail. If he becomes sick, it could raise questions about whether he could remain on the ballot at all. The White House did not say how long Mr. Trump would have to remain isolated, but it did cancel his plans to fly to Florida for a campaign rally on Friday, stripping his public schedule for the day of everything except a midday telephone call on COVID-19 support to vulnerable seniors. So that is the update on Mr. Trump. Further news will come out further to know what is going on with the nation. But this is what happens when you do not follow the advice of experts who this is their daily job of, you know, delving into this kind of information who, and who knows factual evidences. And I've been reading the comments of people on the certain posts and they're saying that this could pro probably be a hoax. As you know, the election of the United States will be in about 30 days. And um, at the last debate, to me, he was like a big baby, a big toddler. And Joe Biden kind of did a great job with him. So... The media was talking very badly about him and saying how he did very poorly and how he behaved very badly. So I'm wondering if this is a ploy to just um, avoid further debates and to probably, who, who knows, nobody believes anything that comes out of this White House. So we'll just leave it and see how it plays out and see what news comes out, what propaganda comes out and um, we'll update you further. So this is Chap City TV coming to you with breaking news about the President of the United States. Please continue to subscribe, comment and share. Also check out, check out our clothing line, Chap City Clothing, and the links will be displayed in the bio. Thank you and have a good day.
Conway's now positive. Mike Lee, senior center of this state, has tested positive. Yeah. So, uh, but no masks. Uh, we're in deep shit. We are in deep shit. Anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to getting to a blue state, the state of Colorado. I'll be there tomorrow. I think uh, wearing a face mask, I don't know, somehow, I don't see it for myself. The can, second you, can you take it off because I cannot hear I'll, you? I'll just speak louder, sir. Oh, this, okay, because you want to be politically correct. Go ahead. No, sir, I just want to wear go the ahead, mask. Go ahead, go ahead. It affects virtually nobody. It's, a, it's an amazing thing. I don't wear masks like him. Every time you see him, he's got a mask. He could be speaking... 200 feet away from it, he shows up with the biggest mask I've ever seen. Funny news, the President of the United States now confirming to the world that he and the First Lady of the United States have both tested positive for the coronavirus and they will quarantine. It is what it is. Words about a pandemic at this point? No, we're not at all, and uh, we're we have it totally under control. We're working very strongly with China. You know, so this is deadly stuff. The vast majority of Americans, the risk is very, very low. Dr. Fauci said earlier this week that the lag in testing was, in fact, a failing. Do you take responsibility for that? No, I don't take responsibility at all. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? A lot it comes from it's China. Racist. It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. I wanted to always play it down. I still like playing it down. Yes, sir. Because I don't want to create a panic. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right now who are scared? I say that you're a terrible reporter. I'm also hopeful to have Americans working again by that Easter. More than 6.6 .6 million Americans filing new claims for unemployment insurance last week. And then I see the disinfectant. And is there a way we can do something like that? Uh, by injection inside. We have met the moment and we have prevailed. This research from Columbia says that 36,000 people could still be alive today if we had social distancing measures in place just a week earlier. Can you take it off because I cannot hear I'll, you? I'll just speak louder, sir. Oh, okay, because you want to be politically correct. Go ahead. We will be today terminating our relationship with the World Health Organization. But new numbers show a 100% spike in Tulsa cases in just the past week. So I said to my people, slow the testing down, please. Business is tied to President Trump were cleared to receive millions of dollars in coronavirus bailout funds. Uh, many doctors think it is extremely successful, the hydroxychloroquine. Do you think that he cares that some of his own people could get sick and maybe die by being at this event at the White House? We are focusing on the science, the facts, and the data. Will it go away without the vaccine? Sure. Over a period of time? Sure, with time. It goes many away. deaths. Bang! You know, this little boy, man, is represented for Trap City. And I 